let's have a small tutorial on uh, non-equijoins. Uh, a non-equijoin is a joint condition uh, containing something other than an uh, equality operator. Uh, the relationship uh, between the employees table and the job grades table has an example of a non-equijoin. In this slide you can see there are two relations or two tables, uh, an employees table and a job grades table uh, where we don't have an equality operator as such uh, between the, uh, the two tables. Uh, this uh, relationship between these two tables can go ahead with a non equijoint uh, A relationship between the two tables uh, is that the salary column in the employees table uh, must be between the values in the lowest salary and the highest salary columns of the job grades tables. Uh, so the relationship is obtained using an operator other than equals to operator. So if we are not going to make use of an equals to operator, uh, here we have to make use of some other operator. So this is not an equijoin, this is a non-equijoin where we are not going to use an e equal to operator. Uh, so the condition which we are going to use is this salary should come in between the lowest salary which is there in the job grade table and the highest salary in the job grade table. So we will see an example how we are going to do this. Uh, so this slide example uh, creates a non equijoin to evaluate an employee's salary grade. Uh, the salary grade must be between any pairs of the low and high salary ranges. Uh, now it is uh, important to note that all employees appear exactly once when this query is executed. We don't want any kind of partition product to happen. Uh, no employee should get repeated in the list. Uh, there are two reasons for this. Uh, the first one is uh, none of the rows in the job grades table contain grades that overlap. That is uh, the salary value for an employee can lie only between the low salary and high salary values of one of the rows in the salary grade table. And the second reason is uh, all of the employees salary lie within the limits provided by the job grade table. Uh, that is no employee earns less than the lowest value contained in the lowest salary column or more than the highest value contained in the highest salary column. Uh, so we have to make use of other conditions uh, such as less than equal to and greater than equal to uh, and we have to make use of an operator. In this case we can make use of an between and and operator. So also we can go for uh, making use of the table aliases uh, to uh, make the performance reasons bit less and to reduce the ambiguity. So here we can uh, take the data from the multiple tables. So you can see employees with the table alias of E, job grades with the table alias of J, and we are firing a join condition uh, which is based on a non equi join where now we don't have an equal to operator, but we are going to make use of an operator called as greater than equal to and less than equal to, and we have replaced that with by making use of a single between and operator. So where the salary column from the employees table should come in between the lowest salary column of the job grades table and highest salary column of the job grades table. So here in the output you can see the same number of employees which are there in the employees table. So here no uh, repetition of employees is happening. So such type of joints are referred to a non equi join. Hope this tutorial you will find uh, beneficial uh, so that uh, you can understand the concept of non equi join in a better way. Thank you.